hopefully you said it's aggressive and that it is not a neural fibroma. So again, extensive bone destruction and soft tissue component. So let's use our aggressive lesion decision tree. Location, is this vertebral body or posterior elements? Well, it's definitely more so located in the posterior elements. Although both are involved, it's mostly the posterior elements. So the next thing on our list is the matrix type. Is this osteoid, fluffy, cloud-like, or is this chondroid, ring and arcs? Well, it's osteoid matrix. And oh, there's our differential, one thing. That's helpful. So this was an osteosarcoma after resection, path proven. Given the aggressive features, the osteoid formation, and the location of the posterior elements, this is probably the most likely diagnosis, if not the only diagnosis. Other things you could potentially think of are other sarcomas and uh, way less likely option of uh, metastasis. So less than 3% of osteosarcomas occur in the spine. Men more so than women, and the peak is in the fourth decade of life. Just like osteosarcomas of the long bones, you get destructive soft tissue mass with uh, matrix mineralization. Dense matrix can be a signal void on our spin echo MR imaging. Don't forget that. Poor outcomes of this cancer necessitate aggressive treatment. Great job making the correct choice. Now move forward to the next case by choosing the link in the comments below.